Yo, my style them belly, belly. Me a my star, rock me tell her, tell her. Kick go, tell her, tell her. Come me say me say me belly, belly, me belly, belly. Miller, aka Kimiko Versatile, and I'm an international choreographer, professional dancer, a young entrepreneur, and a mother. Yes, I am the director for Versatile Ones, which is a collaborating female group, dance group in Jamaica, and I'm the owner of Versatile Studio. That's a good one. All right, so. Kiriko, right now there's been a lot of controversy surrounding the whole topic of dance classes in Jamaica. Um, first of all, what are your thoughts about the pricing of dance classes currently? Well, right now I think the price should even be more you know, because what we're offering to the world is valuable information about our culture and our dance, straight from the source. And the whole world is gravitating to dance all and they are using our dance moves and culture to represent themselves, to represent their brands abroad where they are making more money than us in their fields because their, their currency on a whole is more than us. You know, Jamaica dollar is equal to almost nothing. So I think we should actually raise the price on them. So like for me, one of my class is $3,000. And that's for group rates. Three thousand dollars is almost twenty-five euro. You understand? That's some persons are paying more than that for a dance class abroad, especially if they're taking classes from international dancers. So I find that to be more than um, more than okay, and it should even be more. Let's say somebody is not planning to be a teacher or, or teach the moves to other people. They just come here to learn. I, I, you know, do you think that we should maybe have a, a structure or something in place where if somebody is actually a teacher that, who's planning... No, I don't feel that it should be different. If you go to an Edna Manley and you're not, you're, you're not willing to be a teacher but you want to learn some folk class, the price is not going to be different. The only difference I think that what I think should be different is based on our experience. Hence, Orville Expression, Latana Style, myself, Shelly Expression, we have been doing this for many years. We have teaching experiences. Some of us go to school for this. You understand? So we have technical um, differences and, and, and teaching experiences, skills that we can offer. Uh, should it be cheaper if you don't have those professional kind of environments than for the ones who are In a way, I can agree to that because um, you want the persons to feel comfortable and when you're offering these kind of services you have to have certain things that a consumer can feel comfortable in that space. Yes, yeah, some of the, 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 the dance girls go into the ghetto and experience a real life Jamaican way of living and teach in their community. If you don't really have an expense over your head like you say um, light or pay a water bill, you can be a bit considerate knowing that they're in this place for an hour and a half, not so comfortable, but they're still experiencing the raw, authentic Jamaican culture, right? So you can be a bit lenient when it comes down to that. So you're, what do you, so you're definitely for the standardization of dance prices, dance class prices? Yeah man, I'm for that, I'm for that, because some persons get over carried away, they always have the good stuff suffer with the body, you know Jamaicans, when they come out to certain things pertaining to money, sometimes they're more overpriced the tourists there. You understand, and they're not giving the quality work. Um, they're, 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 the money that they're offering is not matching up to the way of them teaching. So the person, the consumers that are doing classes with these teachers, they have to know the history. They have to know what they're looking for. They have to choose the right teachers that they think can bring the quality work that they are seeking. You understand? So it, it goes both ways. Because if a young um, dancer just start teaching, and because he's in the hype, and you want to go teach class with him, and if he gives a messed up class, at the end of the day, if you look on his journey, you can see that he's a relatively young um, teacher, young dancer, maybe not even a teacher, and he's just showing you what he has, what he can offer. He, she can't, he can't really blame because. If you did the history, you would know that this is the kind of, this is the this is what's happening. So this is the work that you will get. So they have to understand that too and, and, and do their research. That's a one. Yeah. <laughs> That's a one power. <laughs> <laughs>